Don't, what are you doing? Is she gonna poop? Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very, very well. So today we will be talking on what to feed a bearded dragon. And I was thinking about doing a video in two parts. So it's gonna be the first part and it's gonna be just bugs. And the second part is going to be like vegetables and stuff like that. So yeah, today is just talking about the bugs and insects like the, the bugs and insects that they could and should eat. I am joining you with Castiel, my bearded dragon, and she is on my lap because if I put her here, then my shirt goes too low and we don't want that, you know? So the bugs that they can eat is crickets and phoenix worms. Phoenix worms are also called calci worms, nutri grubs, and black soldier fly larvae. You could also eat silk worms and doobie roaches. You could also I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I'm just gonna be like this for the rest of the time. You could also feed them zuvia roaches and hornworms. And for the hornworms, I hope she doesn't poop on me. That would be terrible. And for the hornworms, um, it is actually a lie that they are high in fat. I don't know where like people get that from. Maybe because like they look chunky, but they're actually really high in moisture and the fat isn't the problem. What are you even doing? Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. Just gonna try to deal with this. Can you put, can I put your tail this way? You could also feed grasshoppers and locusts. You could feed waxworms and- I want my bath, I can bath, I want my bath. The waxworms are only, I would only like feed as a staple, as a baby. Also feed waxworms, but I would only recommend having waxworms as a staple for babies because they are high in fat actually, and babies can handle that. But then, like with adults, they can get obese, and you don't want that, obviously. Um, you could also feed superworms as a staple, but the superworms is only for like adults slash juveniles. Some people say juveniles. I think I believe it's 16 inches that they should be or bigger so that they can like digest it right. And guys, don't worry. You don't have to cut like their head off. Or anything like that or worry that it's gonna eat your beer dragon side out that's a myth like just think about it their digestive juices is gonna like let a, a, a little worm live and the little worm is gonna like eat through their insides like I'm sorry no you could also feed adult bearded dragons pinky mice you know like the little tiny little tiny mice that like were just born you know I haven't fed her one yet but I might in the future you know why not <laughs> So, so um, those are the ones that you could feed as a staple, like, you know, every day, even though you should feed them like a varied diet. And I'm sorry that my glasses are like crooked, but I do have a beard dragon on my head. So then as treats, for adults as treats, you could feed them wax worms, and then you could feed them butter worms. Oh, I forgot to say that butter worms are also good for babies um, as a staple as well, because they're higher in fat, and then, you know, babies can handle it, but adults can't. This video was a mess, but I hope that you guys got a nice laugh out of it, because I sure did. Almost got pooped on on my head because little Castiel over here really likes my scalp. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to, forget, please don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos, and don't forget to hit the notification bell our... so that you guys never miss a video. Um, I love you all. Have a great day. I will make the part two, like the card here somewhere on the screen once I make the part two for the vegetables. And yes, yeah, so that is the bugs that you could feed a bearded dragon with a very messy um, format.